what is going on guys welcome to your 81st draft tutorial and we are finally gonna learn how to read stuff from a file so uh, as you can already see I created this Chinese.txt file and I added three more records to it so the first one is Bucky the second one is the ID number and then a name ID number name ID number name so it has four records and a record is pretty much um, a, um, a row of data so now let's go ahead and figure out alright we learned how to open the file we learned how to write this stuff on this file but we don't know how to access it from a Java program so that's what I'm going to be teaching you today and the thing I didn't tell you is before we use scanner that scanner object to read from our keyboard using system in but we can actually use scanner to read from a file as well so let's go ahead and first make a private scanner variable so I'm gonna name mine scanner X and I'm gonna move that cursor out of the way and now let's go ahead and just make um, a method to open the file first so public void open file and let's go ahead and put try to open the file so we're gonna set X and again here's where we're gonna put new scanner and instead of putting system in here which would be the keyboard just put new file and put that Chinese dot text I spell it right yep and now instead of reading from your keyboard it's actually gonna read from this Chinese dot text file right here so that's a neat little trick that you can do and if we get any errors let's just go ahead and catch those errors exceptions E and now what do we want to do let's go ahead and write system out print line and let's go ahead and print something like could not find file eh, looks good enough so now we have a method to open the file easy enough so what method do we need after this well this tutorial is all about reading files so let's go ahead and make a method to read the data from that file so public void just name it like read file or something like that and what we want to do <coughs> uh, whoop me cough the first thing we want to do is create a while loop and it goes something like this while put your file name which is X and then we want to put has next and what this is going to do, it's a built-in method, it, it's going to make a while loop, and it's going to keep going until it reaches the end of the file. So it's going to loop through this, and has next pretty much means, if you hover over it, um, another input. So as long as there's something there, it's going to continue. As soon as there's nothing there and it reaches the end of the file, this is going to be false, and this while loop is going to break out. So that's why we can write while X has next it pretty much means while the file X has something in it so what we want to do is you see each of these records has an ID number a first name and a last name so we're gonna want three variables to hold those string a and let's go ahead and copy that actually we're gonna put string a equals X dot next and what this means is pretty much it's gonna do this well, let me finish writing all my variables, then I'll tell you guys what it does. String A equals next, and this is going to be B and C. <coughs> what it's going to do is this. It's going to loop through the very first thing it sees, and it's going to assign 20 equal to A. Then it's going to assign Bucky equal to B, and Roberts equal to C. And then what we're going to put after this is we're just going to go ahead and print those out. So system out print actually print f would be better so let's go ahead and print um, just three string variables so percent s space percent s space percent s and those variables of course are a b and c so now what it's going to do is after it gets those three it's going to print it out and might want to put a new line there and then it's going to go all right next 60 a Joe is B and Doe is C now I'm gonna print all those out and it's gonna keep printing those out until it gets to the end of the file which is right here and then it's gonna break out of that while loop 
So that's actually the only thing we need in this read file method right there. So now we just need that one last method. And what this is going to do is close the file. So public void close file, just like that. And all we want this to do is close that file x. And now, uh, looks like we got everything. Check for errors. And now we can go ahead and start putting it in our main. So let's go ahead and put read file. I didn't name that read file. Yep. R equals new read file. Don't take any parameters. And now let's go ahead and put R dot open file. R dot read file. And R dot close file right there. So now what this is going to do is call open file to open it. Read the stuff from it and close it when we're done with it so now let's go ahead and run this and we'll see what we got we got pretty much exactly what is in our text file 20 bucky roberts it just printed all this out it stored this in a b c printed it out then it got three new variables stored this in a b c printed out a b c a b c and then it got to the end of the file and it broke out so again let me make sure that's in there and I'll tell you guys how this worked one last time we made a new scanner variable X because remember we can use scanner to not only read from our keyboard but also read from files we then uh, made a method to open the file right here in which how we did that is we pretty much set this scanner and said we're reading from this file chinese.txt which is right here and we pretty much set the file equal to X this error is a handling because we programmed it awesomely and we don't need error handling because we don't have any errors and now we made a method to read the file or pretty much read the data in the file and how we did this is we pretty much set variables equal to each one of these items or words or strings choose your word and then when we got three we printed it out on the line and then we got a new line got three more printed out three more printed out and it does that until it reaches the end of the file using the has next function and last but not least we close the file because you know it's just good programming so that is that for how to read a file in Java um that's it I mean nothing else to say except thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time